Hey guys, today I want to show you how to create this simple clock. So, as usual, the first thing you want to do is go to view, go to show grid, go to view again and snap to grid. And zoom in a little bit, like this. So next thing you want to do is take the ellipse tool and create a circle that is 8 squares wide and 8 squares tall. So just hold down the shift key and count down 8. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight, right here and you want this circle to be to be black so just color it black now we want to duplicate it by holding down the alt key and just move it a little bit and move this one right above so hold down the alt key and the shift key and just make it a little bit smaller like this and color it white so now we got the base of the clock done now I want to go to layer and lock this layer because we want to to work above it right now so just to make it easier we, we want to lock it and create a new layer like this then go to view and go to out overprint preview right here we do this so we can see the grid below it. So now we want to take our line segment tool right here and create one of these number lines like this and make the stroke a little bit thicker. Like this. Choose that one and choose rotate tool. So now you want to hold down the all key and click exactly in the middle of this watch like this and we want it to rotate 30 degrees because 360 divided by 12 is 30 so you can see it will move it 30 degrees but we don't want it to move we want it to be copied so click copy right here to repeat this step the easy way is just to hold control and click D as many times as you want it to to repeat like this. So that's the number lines right here. Now we want to make the clock hands. So choose the line segment tool once again. Then make the first clock hand and let it go a little bit further further than the middle of the clock. So like this. Now you want to click the rotate tool again and hold down the alt key and click exactly in the middle again because we want it to rotate around the middle like clock hands usually do. So click and you can click preview if you want. Then if you want it to be 8 o'clock you can just put down 120 and you can see that will be 8 o'clock. Once again click copy because we don't want it to move we want it to copy. Click copy. Now we got two hands and that's what we want. So we just want to shorten this our hand a little bit like this. That's basically a clock. So now we can go to view and unclick this overprint preview. And there you go. Thank you for watching. See you in another episode. Please like this video if you want to see more of these. I really appreciate it.